everybody. So today I just wanted to do a chill get ready with me. Tonight I am going to RuPaul's like drive-in drag. So it is a drive-in drag show. I'm really excited. Me and three of my fully vaccinated friends are going to hang out and go watch some professional drag queens. I am so excited. So I want to do obviously something like bright and fun, um, but nothing like too crazy. I don't think we're gonna like go all out, but I want to do something with like glitter and like I want to put my hair in space funds and I might show you guys like my hair and my outfit as well and just do a full get ready with me. I can't decide what color I want to do. I think I want to do just like a bright red smoky eye with like glitter just to really like have everything all matchy matchy with my hair. I think we're gonna start with eyes just in case there's any fallout. So we'll zoom in. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Oh my god, I didn't put on moisturizer. <gasps> I'm using the Paula's Choice Essential Glow Moisturizer. This is just my daily, like, daytime moisturizer with SPF 30. My face is so upset, and my brother is getting married next week. Ugh! Which also, there probably is not... This video is going up on Monday. Um, there probably will not be a video on Friday or the Monday afterwards because I am going out of town for my brother's wedding. I'm so excited this is the first one of my siblings getting married. I love my soon-to-be sister-in-law. She is so great and it's just gonna be a really good time. It's a pretty small ceremony and a ton of people have gotten vaccinated for it. So it's just, it's just gonna be really exciting to like safely be together again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do Revenge. I'm gonna do this shade from the My, uh, my Chemical Romance and Hip Dot palette. Oh yeah, there we go. So I'm pretty much just doing like my standard, like blown out colorful eye. If you've been around, you know exactly probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just packing this color all over the lid and then up into the crease. And then I may blend it out with like a little bit of like a pink, I think. Yeah, maybe a pink just to have it be like, I don't know, a little bit extra fun. Or an orange, an orange might do better just because this red is a little bit more orangey. I'm just gonna go in, these are my depotted Jeffree Star um, eyeshadows, so I'm just gonna go in with them because they're right there. Whatever orange you wanna use works fine, but I'm just taking a blending brush. So me and my coworker uh, decided that we wanted to make a like party country playlist, like basically all the songs that you kind of ironically love from country music, like Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. You know, you know the songs. Um, and it brought up so many memories of songs that I would listen to either with like my cousin who like lived like out in the country or with my best friend because I don't know, not a lot of y'all know this, but um, I went through like a weird phase where I was really into Toby Keith, which I, I don't know anything about Toby Keith anymore. But um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a dark red to just to give it some dimension. But when I was in fifth grade, my one of my best friend's moms was like really, really in to like radio contests. I think she probably still is, honestly. But she won so many things on radio contests. And one of the things she won were tickets to a Toby Keith concert. So I'm this like little fifth grade girl and my best friend calls me and she's just like, hey, do you wanna go to a concert? It's for this guy, Toby Keith. And I was just kinda like, yeah, sure, I'm in fifth grade. A concert sounds amazing. So I added a couple Toby Keith songs to that playlist, ironically. And then I unironically listened and like sang at the top of my lungs to these Toby Keith songs on the drive home. It was banana sandwich. It was, it was so much, I love it. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter right now, I think. Oh, I have these Pro Fusion liquid liners. I could do like an orange little, whoop, that could be fun. Ooh, should I do pink or orange? Oh God. Maybe I'll do orange, I don't know. Okay, but I'm definitely gonna use these. These are the Pro Fusion electric bold liners, but I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX glitter primer and I'm going to pat it right on the lid. Also, if you wanna to listen to the unironically, but also ironically good country party playlist, I will link it down below. See, this kinda of has like a yellowy 
shift to it. So I feel like I should do the orange liquid liner. And then I think before I do the liquid liner, I'm going to go and do my face. Just because if it like comes out here, I don't want to have to like move. I don't want to have to like weasel my way around my makeup. I don't want to weasel the foundation around the eyeshadow. I hate doing that. Okay, I am going to use my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous just because we will be masking in between, at the event, in between the event, things like that. So this lasts the best on my skin in my experience and gives me the least amount of mask lines. So I am so not caught up with RuPaul's Drag Race. I think the last season I watched was season 10, maybe, or even season nine. I think the last season I watched was honestly season nine. I'm so behind, but also like I don't have cable. I don't know where to watch it. I don't know, man. I just, I'm a little lost when it comes to the like, the, the who's who of Drag Race lately. I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. So I'm hoping, I know it's a lot of the newer queens that are on this like, drive-in drag tour but yeah i just feel so out of touch with drag race lately but i gotta i gotta get my shit together and get on it okay and i do have a new item to try on camera for y'all i bought the jaclyn cosmetics uh brightening and setting palette this is the second lightest shade because in all of the reviews i don't like a super bright under eye i kind of like my under eye to just kind of be like maybe one shade lighter, but like I kind of just like it to match. So this is the second lightest shade because all of the reviews that I saw, like in all the swatches, it looked really, really light, the first one. So I'm gonna take this yellowy shade and set my under eyes. Normally if I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I want it to last through wearing a mask, I usually bake, but I just really wanna try this. Okay, this color is good. It's like brightening without being too much. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this color as well. Feels pretty light on the under eyes. I'm kind of like packing it on. I'm going to set my T-zone with it as well. And my forehead. It's not anything spectacular. It doesn't look that smooth also. Maybe I'm just applying too much. I also saw like reviews that it had like, that it was really like almost shimmery. Like it had a sheen to it. This is very, very matte, which I'm not mad at. I like a matte powder, but it does smooth out pores, but it doesn't necessarily do a ton for texture. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Kind of underwhelmed, but I don't know. I like the idea of like an under eye setting palette. I think the only time we've seen that I may be wrong, but I feel like the only time I've seen that is in full-on contour palettes, but it has something for every skin tone, so you only end up using two, maybe three shades. So I like this because also you can set, like you can mix and you can set different shades, like different places with different shades. And like if you get a little bit of a tan, like you have other options. So I really like the concept of it, but the actual powder, I think I'll just have to try more. I don't really have, don't really have too many thoughts on it right now. Okay, I'm going to do my lower lash line, which is just adding the same color to the lower lash line and blending it out with an orange, the same one. Okay, now I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a like upper wing of liner. Does that make sense? You know the thing, like the Chrissy Chalpaca, like whoosh. I just don't want this to get crusty, but oh well. Do I want to do this or pink? I kind of want to do pink, but I just feel like orange will go better. My heart says pink. <sighs> I think I'm going to do orange. I just feel like it'll go better. It's brighter. We're just going to, we're going to go for it. So I'm just going to go above my crease. I'm going to keep my eyes open. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Match the other side now. Oh God. Okay, um, it doesn't necessarily match, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna go fill in my eyebrows while my camera calms down, uh, cause it's overheating as normal. So I'm gonna go do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. Okay, brows are a little messy, but like, I think we're embracing a little bit messier brows lately, right? I'm not wrong there. Um, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Extra. I really, really love this 
shade. So I've just wet my brush a little bit and it's going to hit that brow bone. That was a little bit lower than my brow bone. I'm also going to, just while I'm here, hit the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. Mm. Now let's bronze. When the dust all settles, I have beer for my horses stuck in my head. I'm gonna take the Nabla Skin Perfecting Skin Bronzing in the shade Soft Revenge. I'm just going to bronze all the way up. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. God, I love bronze skin and red hair. It just, it, I don't know. It just makes me feel some sort of way. Okay, I want kind of a subtle blush. So I think we're gonna go with the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush in Fig. I don't wanna do like that much, just like, oh God, I hate when you get cheek zits especially like angry ones like I have because then like it just like attaches like any blush that you put on just attaches okay well I guess we're going heavier blush than I anticipated but it really just like really just went on there on this side but again I think it's because my skin is irritated because of these zits I'm just gonna take the brush that we used for the setting powder and just kind of set it down a little bit and then we are going to highlight our cheeks which is my favorite uh, spotlight hiding, highlighting palette. I'm gonna take this kind of pinky shade. Oh no. <sighs> Chunks of this palette are falling off because I've used it to death. So I'm just gonna hit my cheeks above my brows. Just make my skin look nice and dewy. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna wear lipstick. <laughs> what? Wearing lipstick out? But first, I am going to set my face and I usually put on lipstick like very 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 last like right before I leave um so I'm gonna set my face with the NYX nope Urban Decay D Slick setting spray and then I think I'm gonna take you into my bathroom and do my hair real quick okay we're gonna do some space buns because I want my hair out of my face and it'll be nice and fun for a drag show. So my hair's already like kind of curled which is kind of perfect for the space buns that I do so I'm just going to separate my hair in half. And then I usually put one in a ponytail just to keep it so I don't accidentally grab, you know, stuff from this side while I'm doing one side. So you're just gonna need some little hair ties, just little baby boys. Um, you could do more if you have more hair. Bobby pins or like little clips. So first, wanna gather your hair, bring it up where you want your buns. And then when I have it up, then I take out whatever pieces I want. Whiskey for my man, bear for my horses. Okay, and then you're gonna pull it into a ponytail, but just don't pull it all the way through. I feel like that's kind of fun. Does that look stupid or is that kind of fun? And then you just wrap the rest around the front of the bun. So you wrap it around that way. And then you just pin it or clip it back and then you can kind of like pick at it and pick out little spots but super easy space fun whiskey for my man bear for my horses okay so we grab it up pick out the spots we want to take out this part has more little spots that stick out because this is where my undercut is so these that little situation happening is my undercut but whatever, it just adds to it. And then we flip it around. These space buns are so cute. And then I'm just going to add one bobby pin on this side, just because again, this is my undercut side. So I'm just trying to keep all of my undercut, undercut up. Cool. Space buns. And since my hair was already curled, like these front pieces are kind of already curled. Fine, love it. Okay, then we just need to pick out an outfit and obviously I still need to put on like mascara and stuff But when I'm actually getting ready, that is literally the last thing that I do So I'm gonna figure out what I want to wear and we'll be back. Okay, so I think we're going with this I feel very cute. I think this whole outfit is forever 21 if I'm honest Um, this top is from forever 21 and these jeans are forever 21. This is just like a silky like you know, kind of tie top. So I have it tied up a little bit so you can see my little tummy tattoo and then a little grommet belt. And then I think I'm going to wear, I just bought these Velcro old schools. So we're doing like 
casual because again it's just like drive-in right so like we will have our own table but it's just gonna be us I'm not really trying to stunt but I'm also like this is my first like event that I'm going to since the pandemic started so like I want to look a little cute so I think we're gonna wear these and I'll show you the finished outfit but I'm going to first go put on some mascara I'm just applying mascara as normal and then I think I will pick out a lip product and I will tell you what lip product I use. So, BRB. Can you see my outfit? I don't know if this is the best angle, but this is my outfit. I am so excited. These shoes are kind of uncomfortable because they are brand new, so I'm still breaking them in. So I just switched to this bag. It is from ASOS. Um, yeah, I love this outfit. And then I am wearing Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow Liquid Lip. I thought a bit liquid lip would be a smart choice just so I can, you know, take my mask on and off and it won't really transfer. But yeah, this is the outfit. This is the makeup. Um, I use the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. I will have everything listed down below for y'all, but this is the look. I'm very excited. Let me know if you want more of these, like, full get ready with me. They're really fun to do, so I hope you guys like them. I hope y'all are staying safe out there, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!